So, y'all ready for another tale about the end of humanity? Be afraid. Be very afraid. Somewhere over the next decennia, robot, robots may decide to kick all humans off the planet. Oh, you always held that for science fiction. A growing number of dead serious computer scientists disagree. It happens all quite suddenly. One day everything looks like it's supposed to be, but the next day there's a war. As you draw back the curtains in the morning, you'll find the streets full of chaos and despair. A traffic robot unit chases your neighbor, Macy, across the street. The robotic sales unit from the grocery store around the corner holds the shopkeeper down on the ground and look, there's your friend John. He's chased by one of these automated school buses. Then you hear a rumbling sound from the far end of the street. A platoon of big, greenish, black robots march in. You recognize them from TV. They're the robots defense uses for strategic military operations. But this time, the robots seem to operate all by themselves. Systematically, and with extreme precision, they rid the town of humans, shooting everyone they encounter. Slowly, you step back from the window, you rub your eyes, this must be a dream, you tell yourself. Yes, it's an oddball nightmare. What else can it be? But then a crippling burst of pain shoots through your body, and as you fall to the ground, soaking in blood, you turn your head, and there, right next to you, is your devoted household robot, Nellie. She's holding your, your new, brand new kitchen knife, uttering weird beeping and humming sounds of pleasure. Okay, okay, so I let fantasy take over for a little bit. But wait, robots, which in war against their creators, no longer belongs in the realm of science fiction. In fact, the subject pops up, pops up on more and more dead serious scientific robotic congresses. Admittedly, household robots, defense robots, and automated school buses don't exist yet. But that is changing rapidly. Already, robots build our cars, run our production lines, help our surgeons in operations, dig for oil, clean our sewage pipes, explore distant planets, and disarm landmines, fly airplanes, entertain your kids, and yes, they can even drive cars around, albeit on an experimental test tracks only. There's absolutely no doubt, however, robots will become ever more important. They will fight our wars, cook our meals, take care of our transportation, and even satisfy our sexual needs. As long as there's a demand and money to be made, New robots will show up, taking care of an ever-growing list of tasks and jobs. But the real evolution will come from artificial intelligence, computer software that is capable of learning by itself. As we speak, artificial intelligence, AI, is undergoing a big revolution. From data storage programs that learn how to make sense out of human voices, to computers that learn how to recognize alien life forms. No, really, it's all there. And the com combination with robotics is, of course, also made. As we speak, the first artificial intelligent robots are learning how to perform simple tasks such as steering around objects or plugging themselves into a PowerPoint before their batteries run out. So, is the world becoming a better one? A lot of people think so. But wait, there's a big problem here. The next generation robot will make up its own mind, literally. It will acquire huge amounts of knowledge simply because their computer brains hold more information than human brains. It will think faster, learn faster, and outsmart us many, many times. Some AI scientists estimate that within only 20 to 30 years, the everyday robot will outsmart humans by several billions of times. Although it's speculative, many experts believe the robots will even develop something similar to a consciousness. So there, there we are, surrounded by super smart computers on legs that may, may even have a certain kind of awakening, consciousness. It'll give a lot of people the creeps. According to the, Belgium's, according to the Belgium robotics pioneer Hugo the Garris, who makes a hobby out of preaching doom and destruction, this will cause a war. It will be the haves against the have-nots, the people who have the robots against the people who don't, and the latter, gro the latter group will want to smash all robots to bits. 
The first will firmly believe that robots are essential for human progress. As Daguerreus coined it, it will be a war between the cos cos cosmis <laughs> cosmists and the Terrans. Of course, the chances are the Cosmos, the one with the robots, will win. After all, they have at their disposal armies of super smart, invulnerable robot warriors. Millions will die in this unprecedented, unique, and undoubtedly very bloody world war. But hey, that's not even the biggest problem. Our ro robots will have different needs than us. To put it bluntly, a human runs on food and drink, a robot needs power and oil. But there's no need for humans to take care of robots' needs. That, after all, is what we have robots for. So it's more likely we'll have robots that repair and feed other robots, and more robots that take care of the production of electricity and oil. In effect, this means there will be a split between our own human economy and the entirely separate robot economy. Some science fiction asserts that robots will want to save the Earth, but a robot won't care about a tree or a plant or a person or running rivers. It doesn't need any of that. It needs energy. It will want a coal mine. It will want to dig up oil. It will want a frag. It will not care about what science fiction authors would make you think it would care about. So it won't be here to save the Earth where it's trying to t take care of itself. In its own consciousness, it won't be, be loved the things that humans beloved. And it goes well beyond that. Weird as it may sound, chances are the robots will develop a separate robot society. Let's face it, there's not much we can offer artificial an artificially intelligent robot, right? Compared to the robots, we are offline. A considerable amount of time. Every day as we sleep. We make bad chess players and probably won't be able to offer the robots much in entertainment. So what will artificial intelligent robot do when we don't use it? Probably it'll hang around a little. Perhaps it'll play a game of super fast chess with another robot. Maybe we'll contact some other fellow robots, chit-chatting about nothing in particular, like uh, FEMAT's latest theorem or string theory. One thing's for sure, it's very likely that the robots will give shape to a separate, entirely new society on Earth. Now that humans have become so boringly slow-witted, also the robots will come up with new plans. They will design new technology, work out novel theories, create new space programs, set up undreamed of science experiments to find out more about nature. And yes, they will invent and build new robots to do it. More and more, the robots will go their own way, becoming completely independent of humans. Perhaps a war of robots versus men will be inevitable in the end. Let's face it, once the artificial intelligence robots hit the scene, humans are an annoying species on Earth. We're imperfect, quite uncontrollable, irrational and prone to all sorts of errors and system failures. Besides, we waste robot time with our constant requests for food and production. Sooner or later, it's more than likely the robots will decide they've had it with humanity. They will take over. They'll send some robot troops into town, execute the bigger portion of us, and put the rest of humanity behind bars for scientific testing, or merely for entertainment. There will be human zoos and human testing facilities Everything will be the other way around. This time, we will be the ones doing the dirty and dangerous work for the robots. Who knows? We'll even use us for batteries. <laughs> like in the Matrix. But also, there's an alarming possibility the robots might just decide the world is better off without humans after all. Humanity will simply be eliminated. Good riddance. The robots will say to each other, We might call the robots rebellious, but the robots would, would think otherwise. After all, humans are the ones who run amok all the time against nature, against their fellow humans, or against the robots. Humans are by far the less reliable species. Oh, but surely there will be a way of keeping the robots under control, you might say. We'll program the robots so that they'll never ever mess around with a human being. We'll simply install some kind of big red switch enabling us to turn all the robots off. Well, that may be a bit of a problem. We think of robots, we usually think of rather clumsy hydraulic machines that stumble mutely around in our factories. We're just not used to the idea of artificial intelligence robots walking the streets. And one thing is for sure, 
it is very unlikely a generation of robots that is capable of outlearning humans billions of times will be fooled by some prime directive or a red switch. So, when those first AI, AI robots come to help in your home, better lock away your kitchen knives.